שבת שלום. שבת שלום. שבת קונט הב קאם את דה פטר טיים. צ'אס וואן ווי ניר את שבת איז היר. אנד אי הופ וויל אול גט אינטו שבת אנד פיל דה הולינס אנד דה ביוטי אנד דה ג'וי אנד דה דפת אנד דה שבת. וויל טאצ' א ליטל ביט אוף שבת טאצ' וויל. Shabbat will touch our soul and they bring uh, comfort and healing and all the things we're connection, all the things we're hoping for. So we're going to start with Yedid Nefesh on page 10, if you have a Sidur Sim Shalom, particularly those who are joining us from home on live stream, it's on page 252.
Jelevin, the Khun and Anna, two fifty four. The Khun and Anna, La Donai, Naria, let's all ye say no, the Kanma Fana.
ave Adonai, sinu ra. Shomer nafshot chasida, miat reshaim yatsidev.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. So as we head into our double Parsha this week, we have Vay- Vayakhel and Pekude. We're going to focus on Vayakhel this week in our triennial, and we are brought back to the Mishkan, which we have been focusing on. We're at the very end of the book of Shmot, and we've been focusing on our Mishkan, on our portable tabernacle that we bring with us through the desert. And we're finally at the moment of building this Mishkan. We've heard the plans, we've heard even a bit about the building, and now we have the artists and the community who are putting it into place. And in the giving of all of the pieces and the gold and the silver and the tapestries that come to create this beautiful Mishkan, which we'll learn more about tomorrow, there is a piece that the people are giving so much The people are giving so much that they actually need to stop giving. They need to stop giving because they're so eager to give and to contribute to this spiritual center that there's enough. Except for the pasuk is a little bit strange. And so we're going to look at this specific pasuk together tonight where it says, Beforehand, Moses said thereupon, had this proclamation made throughout the camp, let no person make further effort towards the gifts for the sanctuary. So the people stopped bringing. They were bringing and they were bringing and then they stopped. And then it tells us, And this is the strange part. It says, their efforts had been more than enough. The malacha that they were doing, this work that they were doing, was more than enough for all the tasks that needed to be done. Vehoter. And yet, there was more. And yet, there was more. And so the commentaries, and you also probably are sitting there with all of our rabbis of the past and our commentators saying, what does it mean that we had enough, but there's still more that needs to be done? How do we sit in this place? And I'll say, before I share a Hasidic teaching from the Kedushat Levi, I wanted to share an analogy as I was thinking about this and sitting with it. I thought about what it looks like when we're sitting and we're blessed to have food on our table, especially on Shabbat. When you have so much food in front of you, you have more than enough, and then you want to save a little bit of room for dessert. There's always room for that dessert. Even though you have more than enough, the sweetness, you say, I need to stop myself because I know there's sweetness to come. I know there's more that can come. And this is what the Kedushat Levi tells us about this pasuk that seemingly seems contradictory on the surface. The people were bringing and bringing and bringing to the Mishkan. They created this Mishkan, but they left a little bit for the generation to come. He teaches that, and he's not alone in this teaching, the Mishkan is compared to the creation of the world, that God created the world for us in six days and kept giving and giving, and God could have given forever. God is boundless. Ein sof. There is no end to God. Yet God did simsum. God contracted God's self to leave room for us to be co-creators in this world, for us to celebrate Shabbat with God and to say, what is the world that we want to create? What is the world that we want to live in? And not only what is the world that we want to live in, but going back to the Mishkan, leaving room for the next generation to add their beauty, their splendor, their dream, their building of their own Mishkan, that we can't do it all. And today it feels like we sit here on Shabbat and maybe it's a push to remind us that we could be giving more. We could be giving more. What is What is the world that we want to hand over to the next generation? When we look at our children who come up for the blessing under the talit, when we look and see it overflowing with children on all sides tomorrow morning, what is the world we want to hand to them? What is the beauty? What is it that we want to say to them? We're leaving just enough room for you to add your dessert, to add sweetness into this world, for you to take it on. And as we continue with L'chadodi, as we continue sitting in the beauty of Shabbat, may our tefillah engage us in this question of saying, what is one more thing that I can bring and that I can give 
What is one more thing that I can give to this beauty or that I want to give to add light to this world, to add beauty and splendor into the darkness of a world that we live in in order to ensure that our next generation can bake us that beautiful, tasty, sweet dessert. We turn to Le Chadodi, page 23, page 262. We're going to learn a melody. Many of you know it, but many of you don't know it. It's a melody that uh, goes usually with a beautiful piyut called Ya'ala Ya'ala by the great uh, poet Rabbi Israel Lajara. It's a melody that, uh, it's a popular melody from Syria that has been sung for many generations also by Jews, in particularly with, in particularly with this uh, song Ya'ala Ya'ala. We're going to sing the melody now to the words of Lechad Odi. So we're going to learn the refrain. Dan is going to play the music for the refrain. And, uh, and then as we sing Felicia Bekanai, the stanzas, I think you'll pick it up. It's not that difficult. So let's learn the refrain so we all, all sing together, at least those parts. We'll sing it for you once. Likrat kada ay ay pene shamba neka bela pene shamba neka bela. Okay, so now part by part. Lecha do di repeat. Lecha do di. Likrat kala. From the beginning. Lecha dodi, likrat kala. One more time. Lecha dodi, likrat kala. Pene shambat, the same. Neka bela. Pene shambat, neka bela. Let's do the pene shambat. Pene shambat, neka bela. Now the whole thing. Shamor v'zachon ben dibur echad Yishmi'anu ela meyuchad Anuna yechad u'shmo echad Neshem ul tiferet Neshem ul tiferet velithilam Lecha adoni Al Yad Ben Ishaim Bet Alachmi Kol 
standing as Felicia ushers in those who are mourning in our community. And while we wait, just think, if you know of any other synagogue, Ashkenazic synagogue, <laughs> that sings Syrian melodies like you sing here. offer condolences on this Shabbat to Rick and Debbie Lerner, their children Matthew and Laura, Jeremy and Daniel, and their entire family and the death of Rick's mother Irma Lerner, 
and to Carol Keller and Ronnie Keller, to Natalie Leibovitz-Seidenberg and Ort Seidenberg and Kenny Leibovitz and their entire family on the death of Carol and Ronnie's mother, Florence Keller. And we say to them the words of comfort on page 26. המקום ינחם אתכם בתוך שער אבלי ציון בירושלים. May God comfort you along with all the other mourners of Zion and Yerushalayim. מן השמיים תנוחמו. May you find comfort from heaven. Please be seated. Continue with Ms. Morshi ליום השבת on page 27 or page 266. Ms. Morshi ליום השבת
Please rise for the service of our Vit Bar Chu, page 39A or 279. <laughs> Pray for redemption, page forty four or page two hundred and ninety. <laughs>
فدا لنا يتياكوب وقالوا ما الحزاك منو بروح اتانونا يا اسرائيل For the Samidah, the formal text begins on page 47 or 296, and or you can share this moment as moments of personal reflection and prayers of your own heart.
ונודה לשמו בכל יום תמיד מאוד הפרחות. אל הודעות אדון השלום מקדש השבת וברך שביעי ומניח בקדושת ועמדו שני אורנג זכר מעשה בראשית אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו ממותינו רצנה ממנוחתנו קדשנו במצוותיך ושמחלקנו בתורתך, סבנו מטובך ושמח נפשנו בשועתך וטהר ליבנו לעובדך באמת והנחילנו אדוני אלוהינו באהבה ורצון שבת קודשך וינוחו הכל ישראל מקדש אל שמך ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת. קדיש שלם, פיץ' 54. התקדש והתקדש מרבה, ואמר דברי הקיר זה, ואמליך מלכותי, בחיי חונו ומי חונו, בחיי דחו בית ישראל, פגלה בזמן קריבים רוח. אמן, יש מרבה מברך, לאן העולם הרעי. פרח והשתפר והתפר והתרומה והתנשא והתהדר והתעלה והתעלה על שמי נקוט שם בריחו. אלא מן כל ברכתה שירתה תשפחתה ונחמתה נאמר על מה אמרים רוע מר. אמן תתקבל תודובותו נכו ישראל קדם ונשמע אליהם רוע מר. אמן. אמן יש למה רב אמין שמאי וחיים עלינו ואוקו ישראל אוהבים רוע מר. אמן עושה We turn out to Kiddush on page 55 or page 318 and uh, the Kiddush cups are being passed around and if you're at home we invite you to grab a cup of juice or a glass of wine. Did he die, 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 die
Mitzvah, not many, but welcome to come up to the front of the room to receive a blessing. That's two cups of juice in your hand. That's amazing. Double. What's one? That's right. Hakol kapu b'Shabbat. Everything is double on Shabbat. It's a beautiful thing to have someone be carried since they were a very small baby up under this talit, and now we have a walker. That's <laughs> watch out, mom. Alenu, page fifty-six. עלינו לשבח אדום הכל, לתת גדולה ליוצר בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הארצות, ולא שמענו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגור עלינו ככל המונם. ומשתחווים ומודים, לפני מלך, מלכי המלכים, קדוש ברוך הוא. Okay, 
We invite those who are marking a yard site or those in mourning to remain standing and those who are on Zoom to unmute at this time in order to say Mourner's Kaddish, which is on page 58 or page 324. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabba. Amen. V'yama dibrach yurte v'yamlich machute. V'chayichon uv'yom echon v'chayi d'cho b'yit Yisrael. V'agala uv'zman kari v'yemru. Amen. Yehe shemei rabba mevarach l'alam u'lalmei almaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpaar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh. Vietadar, Vietale, Vitalal, Shemede Kudisha, Brichu, Leila, Minko, Birchata, Vishirata, Tushvachata, Venechamata, Da Miran, Vama, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh, Lama, Rabba, Min Shamaya, Vahayim, Aleno, Velko, Israel, Vimru, Amen. Ose Shalom. Amen. Be seated. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. We want to extend our condolences uh, once again to Rick and Debbie Lerner and Matthew and Laura, Jeremy and Daniel on the, on the death of Rick's mom, Irma Lerner, and to Carol and Ronald Keller, Natalie and Orr and Kenny and their entire family on the death of their mother and grandmother and longtime member here, Florence Keller. We also want to extend our condolences to Lynette Perlman Capel and Steve Capel and their children, Sarah and Joshua, Caroline and Eric, and grandsons Ezra and Henry on the death of Lynette's father, Dr. Martin Perlman. And thankfully, we have Smachot the Shabbat also, a Mazal Tov to Drew Morrow and his parents, Bradley and Deborah, and brothers Matthew and Liam. Andrew becoming a bar mitzvah, he'll be called to the, to the Torah tomorrow on Shabbat HaChodesh, uh, uh, beginning at services at 9.30. To Mazal Tov to Jesse Kalbfeld and Taylor Jones on their upcoming wedding, which was supposed to be, uh, is going to be on Monday, and they had a baby five weeks early, so uh, mm -hmm. they're juggling a lot. I spoke to Taylor today, so we wish them a Mazal Tov uh, on their birth of their daughter, um, and, you know, Things come at the right time. Uh, to David and Susan Schwartz on the birth of their grandson, Elijah Daniel Schwartz, and to parents Alex and Christy and big brother Miles. To, uh, tonight, those who are joining for Shabbat dinner with our rabbinic fellow Aaron Levin will be invited to make their way through the link to the reception room. Uh, and next Shabbat, there is a dinner for those who are involved in Chavarot. And I guess also, if you want to be involved with the Chavarot, come too. Tomorrow morning service is at 9.30. Pre, uh, you can do a hachana la preparing for prayer with Roli at 8.45. Um, and then services will begin at 9.30. Av Arvit and Havdalah will begin on Zoom at 8 o'clock, um, now that the clocks have changed. And Sunday evening, we have a beautiful opportunity uh, to join for the premiere of the fusion of original music, writings, and communal singing designed to awaken joy and healing, which is um, created in partnership between our BJ's art, artists in residence here, Averbuch, who does our children's services on Shabbat morning, and our Tat Shabbat, and has really made her way in this community in really powerful and deep ways, um, and also has an incredible career outside this building. And so she's been partnering with Susan B. Lax, who's the author of A Heart's Landscape, poetry and they've collaborated to create what should be a beautiful performance with the reading of Susan's inspiring writings, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, exploring things of hope, grief, and gratitude. Um, and it's at Sunday evening at 7.30 in the sanctuary and online. There are many things taking place in preparing for Pesach and during Pesach itself. Sunday, March 26th, um, we're going to be joining once again. This has been um, we've been learning with Tamar Biala and Yael Kanarak for a study of uh, Beit Torah Taz, regendering Shira Shirim. These are two women um, who have been regendering the Torah. And uh, last year we studied the Megillat uh, 
Mordechai with them, Migilat Esther turns into Migilat Mordechai, and this year they're doing Shira Shirim, so it will be a regendered version of the Song of Songs, which is read during Pesach. That will be Sunday, March 26th at 10.30. Ari will be teaching Melodies of the Seder on Tuesday, March 28th, Thursday, March 30th, um, and the Women, Female Power, and the Story of Redemption will be taught by Rabbi Jessica Lenza, exploring the legacy of female power and the narrative redemption in Pesach. And for the first time in seven years, we're going to be having a community Seder on the second night. It's finally not Motzei Shabbat, and it's not fully COVID, so we are excited to welcome back the community Seder, which I'll be leading with Dan and our uh, musicians. Uh, it's on Thursday, April 6th at 7.15. If you'd like to sign up, I invite you to do that so quickly. It's filling. Um, so we would love to have as many people as possible. I think we'll end. I think I want to, uh, on behalf of everyone, to say a welcome Bruchim Abayim to Rabbi Hanan Schlesinger, who is here, together with his Khalil uh, Khalil Sayeh. They are partners in an incredible project in Gush Etzion, in the West Bank, project between Israeli Jews and Palestinians, who are working together to expand peace. They've been working at this for a number of years. They, their project is moving and impressive. And they are trying to figure out something that has eluded so many people and trying to inspire the idea that Jews and Palestinians can live together and can share the land because the land doesn't belong to either of the two nations. The two nations belong to it, as some great teachers have already said. And so uh, we are welcome to, uh, uh, we welcome them and we invite everybody after Shabbat, go into your Google and check Roots Shorashim. Shorashim means roots Root. in Hebrew. Root Shorashim, and you'll find what incredible work they're doing. And if you feel so moved and inspired by their vision, uh, we ask you to support it because there are not too many things like this. And time for resolving this conflict is slipping away very fast. And so please uh, explore the work that uh, Rabbi Hanan and Khalil and others are doing. Ruchim Abayim. Ruchim Abayim. We turn now to Shalom Aleichem, page 73 or page 722. Shalom Aleichem, Malach Yashar, Malach Yashar, Malach Ma 
has a very beautiful rendering. The first time I heard it was this is choir of young boys singing at the top of their lungs. It's a bell's and melody. It's a bell's melody and just like the, the fullness of really wanting to bring in the angels of peace. And so we pray on the Shabbat that we all have angels of peace accompanying us and that we embody angels of peace who are in our midst and send us on our way. We welcome them in, we send them away, and pray that all of us will have a Shabbat of peace and justice and dignity. Adonai oz le'amo yitin, Adonai yivarech et amav ba'shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.